Hi Flosstube, my name is Kristen and this is my channel Cow Stitcher. Um, so I'm really excited to be back. I'm a couple days late because I wanted to finish Stitch Mania before I recorded a video. So there were two more days I needed to wait to do the video. So I figured I could wait and then show you all my Stitch Mania whips instead of just the couple that I had. So um, life update. Not much new here. Um, we're just doing the same old thing every day. Um, going for walks every day with the dogs. We had a little surprise birthday party for my son with a couple of his friends. Um, that way he, cause he was sad that he wasn't able to celebrate with them cause my family was here and they weren't comfortable with people coming over. So we surprised him with a couple of friends and got a little bounce house slide combination thingy. And it was like a water slide. So he had a blast. It was a lot of fun. So that's all we've been up to really and I've just been trying to stitch as much as I can <laughs> so and it's nice it's actually been really nice here in Virginia though finally the weather is consistently warm because there was a cold front that came through for a little bit and lots of rain but now it's been really nice so it's been great all right so let's get into it so I have some previous finishes um, this is summer sparkler party by the frosted pumpkin stitchery I did this a really long time ago like I don't know, four or five years ago. Um, I stitched on the called for fabric. I think it's Ale by Picture This Plus, but I'm not sure. But I, I'm pretty sure I use all the called for colors. And I bought this frame from Michaels. It has a little ribbon on it to hang it, but I just put it on my hutch. And then I have a bunch of these by the Frosted Pumpkin that I switch out for each holiday or season. So yeah, I love that. And then, this is my June wordplay by With Thy Needle and Thread. And pretty sure I stitched this on 28 count tea coffee dye Monaco with all the call for colors. And then I put it on sticky board and I backed it with some like reddish maroon color sticky board, fabric on sticky board there. So I love this one. I think I only have like five or six more wordplays to do only. <laughs> But I love this. And this is a tray that I got from Hobby Lobby. Or no, from sorry, from the Goodwill for 50 cents. Super cheap. And then I have one finish this week, which I'm really excited about. This is Old Glory by Stitching with the Housewives. So I love this. So Priscilla had finished hers with on this piece of wood from uh, Joanne Fabrics. And I had it. I've had it forever. And I just never put anything on it. But I bought it thinking something would look cute on it. So I was really excited when she showed her finish on here. So I just painted the board black with acrylic, like folk art acrylic black paint, just regular black paint. Um, and then I want to put a sunflower in the middle, but I didn't have one. So maybe I have to go to the store and get one. But I, so I put it on sticky board and then I backed it with the red gingham on sticky board. And then I used the Mrs. Grace's flower pots, the blue colored fabric on the back of that. So I love this so much and it's going to go on my hutch. I thought I could finish this a little bit different than the other two that I did so that it's not the same stand type of a finish. Okay, now let's get into my Stitch Mania. There's a lot to show. I'm going to show you all 31 that I did. So, well, sort of all 31, but so the first one that I did was Stars and Stripes Forever by Bent Creek. And this was my start on that. Love that. I'm kind of like over patriotic stitching because I've done so much of it. And I really want to switch to some Halloween fall stitching. So, but I have the, um, I want to finish my July trucking along by hands on design and I want to start, I, I ordered the new chalk full, the, what's it called? Um, I can't even, Liberty, Liberty chalk full, the new one that's coming out. Um, so I really want to do that one too. So we'll see, we'll see. But, and then I, I showed you guys this one. I finished this small, it's up there. You can't really see it. And then I did farm, a Little House Needleworks Farm Life. 
And this was my little tiny start on that. This is on 28 count tea coffee dyed Monaco. And then Farmyard Parade by With Thy Needle and Thread, Brenda Gervais. And I started with this one here, the little chicken up there. Didn't get too much done on that one. But at least I'll have a whole bunch of things started if I ever want to grab something and just continue with it. Okay, and then I have a Spooky String by Lizzie Kate. And this fabric is 28 count Smoky Pearl by Zweigart and I love it. It's like a bluish gray color, it's so pretty. So there's my start on that one. And then I did, so I did Long May She Wave by Stitching with the Housewives. This one is so big and I really, really like wanted to finish it, but I think it's just gonna have to wait till next summer. That's my little start on that one. <laughs> Not very much. And then I also did Cream by Stitching with the Housewives. And there's my little start. I love the cow so much. So cute. And I'm using this big piece of 28 count Jovelins, just pieces all over there. And then I did Sam and Liberty by Stitching with the Housewives. I wanted to get more of this done this week, but it just didn't happen. So, but I got the bunting done and it's so cute. I love it. I love the colors on that one. And then I, oh, you guys know I finished my June trucking along. So I finished the top piece, which I showed last week. So excited about that. And I just put that out today since it's the first day of June. So I was excited. And then I did Jack-O-Lantern Junction Farm. I'm starting with the big piece here. And then this is my start on that one. And this is 28 count slate by Fabrics by Stephanie. Look how pretty that is. I love it. And I did Halloween Night by Heart in Hand. This is so cute. And it's so little. I, I'm totally gonna be doing this soon. Picking this back up soon. And then I did Hen Peck by Plum Street Samplers. And I, I got all the border done for this one. It's so little. There's my start on that one. And this is 32 Count Oaken Belfast Linen by Picture This Plus. And then I did Waxing Moon Designs Halloween House Trio. I think I started with the top one. And there's my little start on that one. <laughs> Not much done. And then I did, oh, I love this one. Um, Land of Liberty by Brenda Gervais. And I, I dyed my own fabric for this one. I think it was denim blue. And then I tea coffee dyed it. There's my little start on there. Love that. Oh, and this one, I barely did anything on this. This is Trick or Treat Row by Bent Creek. So cute. I did a little tiny, um, what do you call that? Candy corn. <laughs> so cute. And then this is Liberty by Shepherd's Bush. So little. I Probably should have been able to finish this the first night, but I think I was falling asleep on the couch. So there's my little tiny start. And then the Milk and Cream Company by Plum Street Samplers. Got some of the top border done. And then I did the freebie from Hands On Design Farm Fresh. Start on that one too. So cute. And 
And then, sorry, I'm trying to keep everything together here. Um, I'm doing Holly Jolly Farm from Hands On Design and Priscilla. I'm doing the big one first. I like to get the big ones out of the out of the way. So then I'm motivated to do the smaller ones next. So that's my little start on that. 28 count slate by Fabrics by Stephanie as well. Oh, and this one, I love this one. Buttons Black by Plum Street Samplers. This is so cute. And I dyed this fabric pearl gray, writ dye, and then I tea coffee dyed it. So cute, sorry, all these straggling. I love the color, it turned out amazing. And then we have Cinnamon Stars by Plum Street Samplers. And I got one little motif done on there. Just that little star, so cute. I love all the colors in this. I have my little um, toothless needle minder from How to Train Your Dragon on there. <laughs> He's so cute. And then I have Jingle All the Way by Brenda Gervais. I just did one little tiny leaf on here. Not very much at all. <laughs> but it counts, right? Just that little leaf. And that's 28 Count Tea Coffee Dead Monaco as well. And then I started Queen Bee Flower Farm by Hands On Design and Priscilla. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. I wish I had all the time in the world to complete these ginormous patterns. <laughs> so there's my little start on that. And that's also 28 count sleep by Fabrics by Stephanie. Oh, and I love these. This is part of my haul. I just got two charts for my haul and this was one of them. It's Mrs. McGuire's Hen House. I love this so much. So that was, I just decided to throw that into my mania. <laughs> And that's what I've gotten done so far. I did all the flowers at the top, but I just didn't fill them in yet. So my fabric's really wrinkly, I have to iron it. So love that. And then I did my July trucking along. I'm starting with the bottom piece with the truck. I really, really need to get this done this month so I can put it out. My stuff's falling down over there. So this is what I have done on that. Good amount done. I'm doing a lot of the white first. That's why I usually stitch as much white as I can. Um, and then I fill it in. Because I like I think filling it in is, is the fun part. And then I'm doing Four Seasons House by Bent Creek. A lot of people have been getting this because I posted it on Facebook the other day, or on um, my Instagram the other day, and I love it. It's, it this, I've had this forever. This pattern is so adorable, and I think it's, it's perfect because you can leave it out all year, all year long because it has all the different seasons and stuff in it, and it's, I just love it. So I just did a little bit of the chimney on the house right there. And this fabric is actually, I think what it's called for, it's 32 count summer khaki Belfast linen. So I'm not sure who it's by though, it doesn't say. But it probably says on the chart. Uh, yeah, um, I don't know, by Norden Crafts. I don't know if that's who it's by or not, but. So yeah, that's my start on that one. And then I, Started. Um, this is Autumn Seasonal Celebrations Autumn by Country Cottage Needleworks. I've done all the other ones of this, and so I was like, I need to just start this one. And it's really not that big, so that's the nice part. And that's my little start on that. And this is the 28 count tea coffee dyed Monaco. And then my last Stitch Mania start was Autumn Acres Farm by Hands On Design. 
So I stitched all, all the white for this one last year. And so for Stitch Mania, I started with the sign. So I'll show you the sign part. That's what I did for Stitch Mania. And this is what I did last year for the bottom part. Look at all that. How awesome is that? So I stitched all the white and then it was just like getting really late in the season to be able to get it done and up in time for fall. So I decided to put it away. So hopefully I'll be bringing this out soon to finish it, but I just love it. It's so nice. I love it so much. Okie dokie. So, um, oh, and then my other two finishes were the, um, the what's in my cup, the USA and the stars and stripes. And that concludes my stitch mania. So those are my other two finishes and that's it. So yeah, I survived. I was really proud of myself. I mean, like there were nights where I was like, oh my gosh, I have to start something new. Oh my gosh. And I would just like pull something out and put a couple stitches in and then that was it, you know, because there were just so many other things I wanted to work on. But then once I started stitching, whatever I picked, I was like, oh, I don't want to put it down. So <laughs> it's crazy how that works, but it was really fun. I enjoyed it a lot. And now I have a lot of things I can just grab and stitch on. Like we're going on vacation in the beginning of July to the, to the New Jersey, sh to the shore. So like when I go there, I'll probably just grab a couple that I have already ready to go and stitch in the car the whole way while my husband drives and then it'll be great. <laughs> so I have some haul. The one Pine Pineberry Lane um, chart that I showed you was part of my haul. And then I also got this one. Um, this is McGuire Bee Charmer. So I love these. I have a, a finishing piece for these. Um, that I'd like to put in my formal dining room. So finish both of them on the same piece. So we'll see, but these really aren't, aren't even that big. So probably wouldn't even take me that long to do, but I thought, I think they're adorable and farmhousey. Okay, so I have some exciting news. Caitlin from A Stitch for Mom and I are doing a stitch along and I totally forgot to mention it in my last video, but we're gonna do Blessed Be by Brenda Gervais with Thy Needle and Thread. And we are gonna start June 15th. I'm not sure what our hashtag is gonna be. I need to talk to her about that, but I'll, I'll post it on my Instagram so you guys can see, and, and I'll post it below too once we talk about it. But um, probably like hashtag blessed be SAL or something like that. But um, I've had this forever and I've been really wanting to stitch it and her and I just decided let's do a stitch along. So, so yeah. So bless be, if you guys wanna join in, please let me know in the comments if you're gonna join. Um, it, it's gonna be so much fun. So June 15th, and I thought I would show you my fabric and my floss. So this is the fabric I'm gonna be using. I tea coffee dyed it, it's 28 count Monaco. And then these are all my, my threads. I'm using all the called for threads because I just, I love Brenda Gervais' color palettes that she chooses. They're very, um, I don't know. I don't know what I would call them, but I love them. <laughs> so yeah, these are all the called for colors and my fabric. Um, and this is my little floss keep from Sampling of Memories, LaDonna. She gave it to us for the retreat. It says fancy floss on it. I think it's adorable. It has some scissors. So I put all my thread on there and I love it. Um, yeah, so please join us, Kate, Caitlin, with a stitch for mom and I. Um, you can find me on Instagram at cowstitcher too. So, and then one more thing. Um, I made a t-shirt for Alyssa from Starry Night Studio on Instagram. Um, she finishes a lot of people's uh, cross stitch pieces and she does, a, she does gorgeous work. So she asked me for this design on a shirt it says, I crossed it so I don't kill people. <laughs> I thought that was so cute. And look how, look how nice it turned out. So if you guys are interested in a shirt from me, just let me know. You can email me or send me a message on Instagram. Okay, and I think that's it. 
So I hope everyone's doing well, staying sane still. Hopefully it's nice out where you're, you're living and you're able to get outside and get some fresh air. Um, and yeah, so I hope everyone has a great rest of your week and we'll join Caitlin and I on our sal. I'm really excited. I've never done a sal before, like hosted my own. So I'm excited. And I will see you guys in two weeks now because now no more Stitch Mania. So I'll be doing a video every two weeks. All right, you guys have a great day. Bye.